Shonen anime is dead. Let me tell you something. Come here real quick. The golden period of Shonen has come to an end. Giants, Naruto, and Bleach, which charmed a generation, have reached their finale. My Hero Academia and Jujutsu Kaisen are almost over, and no one, I mean no one, is picking up the mantle. Or so I thought. You're in your 30s, and you still love to watch this genre. It's therapeutic, isn't it? To watch another character grow into this miraculous being, which, unfortunately, you never got to do. It's okay. I'm the same. Well, look no further. Your savior for this genre is here. In the midst of all mid-tier garbage, rises from the ashes, roaring with the echoes of its predecessors, and still coming up with a unique delivery. Kagura Bachi is here to save the day. It has become the Morbius of shonen anime. When compared to other recent weekly shonen jump protagonists, the main character, Chihiro, is a welcome change. You see, the kind of shonen we're used to all had lofty ambitions. In the case of Luffy, he still does, lol, but he's getting close. The point is, Chihiro just wanted to become an amazing blacksmith, just like his father. How simple is that? A non-toxic loving father who cared for his son and his son loves him back while following in his footsteps right until his father gets murdered. Now his sole mission is to retrieve the stolen mystic swords and put the matter to rest. And he will stop at nothing to get them back. The backdrop artwork in the first manga was shockingly eye-catching at times and quite detailed, particularly around his father's blacksmith business, which I usually enjoy in manga regardless of genre. The scenario in the conclusion, however, piqued my interest the most. They were unique to Chihiro's character and the type of strength he possesses, not in himself, but through his father's katana. Fans and reviewers alike can't seem to agree on whether Kagura Bachi is a manga that is simply another passing fad, exaggerated by social media buzz and viral memes, or if it has the makings of the next big thing. Although, it's certain that the TikTok meme frenzy contributed to the early excitement around Kagura Bachi. It's crucial to explore deeper manga's concept, which which combines comedy, a revenge-driven plot, and expert swordsmithing as the makings of an engrossing series. Takeru Hokazono is clearly a gifted storyteller. Many predict that this will be the all-time best-selling manga. It is capable of surpassing all previous records, including those of other Shonen Jump titles such as Demon Slayer, The Dark Trio, and The Big Three. It could still be able to, with an estimated Kagura Bachillion dollars in sales. The ridiculous expectations this series has led to are the source of the insanity. Despite having just two chapters, the majority of readers think this will be the next great thing. It cannot possibly live up to the insane expectations that have been put on it, even if it is successful. These days, it appears that Shonen Jump readers like stories with a lot of action and a fast pace, at least initially. Character development, world building, and other non-action items should be postponed until later. Kagura Bachi has only included one battle sequence in the series' first two chapters, and it will take some time to reach the first major fight. With every new chapter, the characters in this story must progress steadily and dramatically. If the characters fail to achieve their goals in a timely manner, sales and popularity will drop below a level that would persuade Shonen Jump to continue the series. Memes aside, if this comic is actually engaging to readers, the sales will tell you what to expect. Since this series is still in its early stages, it might either be Shonen Jump's next great thing, or just another generic title designed to fade into obscurity. Fans will at least have the memes to look back on, even if the latter occurs. Although a lot of effort is being put into this series, there is no assurance that it will be successful in the future. It's funny that everyone is overhyping this series, since Shonen Jump is ruthless enough to cancel it as soon as it starts to do poorly. Readers will have to decide whether or not this manga is truly worthy of appreciation.